for being here this evening. We're looking forward to having a great time, you know, giving away that car, knowing that we're going to give that car away tonight. We're going to give the car away tonight, right? It's your car, Jeff. Not going to give it away. Okay. All right. We're glad you're here tonight. We've got all kinds of things planned. Some things aren't planned, but we've, we're going to sing for you some. And, and uh, Rich is going to do a little soft shoe later on, so you want to stick around for that. Let's sing Heavenly Love. Here we go, guys. or somebody, if you would please, go to the library, look around there and see if you can find my glasses. Would you do that? I mean, seriously, this is a real, this could be a real dilemma. So if you don't mind, would you, would you do that to, yeah, I know, I'm, I know, I'm getting old. I know, yeah, I, I know. And, uh, I, I, thank, thank you. Just, uh, I, you can stall your way out of this? Yeah, I'm trying. I, 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 I'm not sure if I need it for this next song or not. Let's see. Now nah, we can do this. I, I did notice this this little Christmas present, and I I know I didn't I didn't have anything to do with it. So I mean, it, well, it's uh, for those that've been to some other concerts, it's uh, it's somewhat commonplace and now for us to have a little surprise box. We call it. Scott, did you know about it? Yeah. Actually, the other three guys. Uh, oh, do you know about it? I had, yeah, I had an idea. I'm guessing it must be for me then. Huh? Bingo. Because <laughs> I didn't know. Thanks, guys. I appreciate yeah. it. I'm going to thank you ahead of time for that because, I mean, really. Probably now would be the time to do it. Would it? Would it be the time to do it? <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, the question us often ask, wonder how often did we come up with some glasses there? Give Rogers a hand. Yeah, thanks, Rogers. question is asked, how often do you really go to the Lord? You get down on your hands and knees and you really pray to the Lord and, and just, you know, ask 
of Him and thank Him and praise Him. And this song that we're going to sing right now, it's a song entitled, How Long Has It Been? Now, most of the songs that we do uh, for the first part of our program are older type songs. And this is an older song written uh, quite a few years back. And it's entitled, How Long Has It Been? Feel the very turn and you know the fire is burning. 
Process. We had our last concert, it was a live recording. We did all that, we did the recording, we had the people here to record the concert. Uh, we gave all the, everything recorded to us, an individual to help us put the CD, CD together. And what has happened in that time span was the fact that uh, this individual has run into some problems that we as individuals need to pray uh, that his problems will be worked out. He's a fine Christian man and he, uh, he uh, wrote me a letter and he said he's having problems and he, he's not going to be able to do the CD. However, what he did do, we did, we did get two songs actually mixed on the CD. So what we're going to do tonight, and uh, in the back in the lobby back there, there are CDs like this, and there's some have blue fronts on them, with two songs on those, okay? And we, just to show that we appreciate what you've done, we want to give these away tonight. So if you uh, would like a CD, we're going to give these away. We have not given up doing a complete CD, but we felt like a lot of you have been waiting and, and wondering what we've been doing. So in the back, in intermission or afterwards, there's some in the back. I think we have 75. 75. Actually, about 10,000 of them back there. So <laughs> you're welcome to. Uh, there's, I don't know, 70, 75 of them back there. And you're welcome to pick one. There's only two songs on it. They're mixed to go on the CD. We apologize, it was just not something that we can control, but I know who can, and I know who is in control, and so we're just gonna have to wait and see how the Lord works it out. So these are in the back. I thought you, you thought I was gonna pitch it for sale, right? No, they're for free. You get them, okay? And, and they're back there. Thank, we wanna thank all of you that have, uh, you know, given to help us produce the CD. Uh, this individual did refund some of the money that we gave, we paid him to do. A fine Christian man, I mean, just, really right up front and he refunded some of the money so we have the money back and we're going to continue the process so but thank you all for that uh and pick one of those up afterwards let me just uh i don't know where we are here uh, jim we need to mention too, if by chance and it's a long it's a long shot but 
if, uh, if we run out tonight, please just let us know. They're obviously not a problem to uh, replicate, so we can uh, produce as many as we need to. Just uh, up into the thousands. Up into the thousands. <laughs> it's rolling up. So Sounds like we're begging. Friends, uh, whatever, uh, you know, just uh, let them know. All right, we're going to do a song that's called What a Day. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great day when the Lord comes back and takes us home. And, and I'm looking forward to that day. I don't know about you, especially this week. My goodness, I have run ragged this week, trying to get everything just ready to go for this program and, and school programs and all these. This time, is just really busy for educators. And, and we're all educators, by the way. We all work in the... That's a scary thought, too, isn't it? Taking up here. <laughs> Really is. We all work in, this, in a school system somewhere. At least the four of us do. The rest of the guys, the drummer and the bass guitar, we found them on the uh, bike path tonight. Asked them to come and play for us. So, but thank you guys for, for doing that. We appreciate it. All right, we're going to sing a song entitled "What a Day." Let me get a drink of water here, and we'll go. Go ahead. <coughs> That is 
is going to be a great day. Rich? Yes, could I? Would you mind? Would you? No. Oh. Wait, we have it. We have it timed up. I'm excited. I, mean, I can't. I would, it's not a chance. Now. It's 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 all about the anticipation, Jim. Is that what it's about? That's what it's about. Okay. okay. Go ahead and guess. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna, I, really, I, can I just? The answer is still no. Sounds like my kids in school. All right. I'm just, Sounds like my kids I tell you, at home. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'll tell you what, we want, to, we want to do something a little different. We're going to do an acapella song. This, I think, will be new for most all of you. A lot of songs we've done, most songs we've done already, you've probably heard it before if you've been on a concert. This one, you probably have it. It's acapella. It's the Lord's Prayer, okay? And it's done sort of a barbershop-type sound. I, was, I wanted to get a barbershop-type sound song, and this is... The one we came up with, and it's acapella. Well, most all barbershop, actually barbershop is acapella. And this is the Lord's Prayer. We want to sing it for you right now. Our Refreshments. And I, don't, I don't know if they're selling them for you to eat now or to buy and take home with you. I'm not sure, but we've offered them the opportunity to do that. So if you go out there looking for something to, to drink and eat at this time, you might not find that, but you might find something good to take to buy and take home with you. So just uh, take advantage of that when we have the intermission. And uh, we ask that you don't bring anything in here and eat, so don't sneak a cookie in here and, and eat uh, during the mission. So, uh, so that's going to be available. This song, we're going to end up the... This first half with this song entitled Redemption Draw Up Now. Lift up your head, 
Actually, Jim, uh, if I, this is maybe a curveball for you, baseball vernacular. Uh, you're, you're all for democracy. We're not doing the present yet. No, no, no. We're not. No, we're not. No, the problem is, guys, we have a, an order that we're supposed to go through here. Okay. And this doesn't work. This kind of ad lib stuff doesn't work. But go ahead. If you want to do Jim, it. Jim, it's, it's all ad lib. I'm, I'm exhausted already. Right go ahead. Okay. Okay. I'm, have you got, well, you know, we were talking, and you weren't here yet, so I, I hope you understand, and it's a democratic system anyway, for goodness sakes. Even though you're the leader, we decided that uh, our favorite song, among the ones that we do, it's, it, in the first half, is Feeling Fine, and you omitted that, and you said it was a little tough for you, but you now... Uh, well, well, we've had this discussion, we had this discussion last week, I mean, it was almost a flat argument. I told you that we cannot do this song anymore, I am, I'm too old. <laughs> yeah, we talked for his, for his age. <laughs> well, now we talked about this. We talked about how it wears me out. I, I how about I just can't. like a swan song for feeling fine? I, I'm not. No, listen. This is not in the. This is not part of our deal. I'm not. Understood. Gonna do it. Understood. But we've never done a concert without feeling fine. So I don't care. I don't care. You know, you guys. Okay. You know, let me ask you this: What are you guys without me? Three? Or, or a trio? Or a trio. Are you asking us to go ahead and do it without you? No, I'm just saying we don't need to do it. I'm just saying. Okay. Why don't, you know, you've got a good point. You've represented it well. Why don't we go ahead and vote on it? Alright, let's vote on it. How many are in favor of me singing the song? 
I think we need to do it. I'm telling you, I can't do the song, man. Where's me? If you want to do it, if you want us to try to do it, then we'll try. Give to it do your it. best shot. We we got 15 yeah. minutes right, after this song. Okay. Take a drink of water. Folks, I apologize. We don't like to do this kind of stuff in a uh, concert. We like to be serious all the time. We do a concert. <laughs> and, uh, so you're gonna get what you get. Okay. We talked about this last week. I told him no. Yeah, he doesn't pay very close attention. Uh, Mary, is that how it's at home too? I think it might be. Right here.
drums, please, when you speed it up. No, we said we go slow for a while. Okay. Let's go finish it. Okay. I can't finish it. I can't finish yes, it. Yes, Jim. You're on the two yard line, okay? Let's Promise go ahead and score here. Promise me you'll do it slow. Slow. Yeah. Slow. The whole All way. Right. Okay? And some uh, polygrip to hold them in there. <laughs> on those high notes. Yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, they're great, aren't they? What are you guys singing next week? What, what are you singing? <laughs> no, here's some Metamucil. Metamucil? <laughs> Actually, this is uh, something special for you, too, Jim. This is a, a comb. For, uh, Discount in bulk, but uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, actually, we, we uh, those obviously are just fun things, but uh, we really do think this guy's mighty special. We have something uh, we, we have got together. We well, want to recognize our leader and, our, and our, as I said, our director, the guy that makes it go. And I really thank I appreciate it. <laughs> absolutely. We wanted something uh, of personal nature and uh, something you would remember when you're wearing and so forth. And we, we actually went to, uh, we went to your lovely wife, Marianne, and said, well, hey, Thanks, we... this is, uh, this is personal. But we said, you know, boxers or, or briefs. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, she said, depends. <laughs> Yeah. 
Actually, uh, small medium. <laughs> that would explain. We uh, we are going to have an intermission, and uh, we'll ask, uh, oh, thank you for coming back. Well, oh. We're going to ask uh, Pastor Hammond to come on up and speak, and uh, while you're coming up, we'll go ahead and give these back to you. Thank you for the help of the girl. <laughs> Where's my preparation age? <laughs> uh, those high notes worry me. That we know as a quartet, you're going to hear both of them. Come. And the first one's sort of a, uh, uh, well, it can be a fast moving thing. If you get the urge to, to join us, please do so. I think we've got a little bit of uh, Barbara, Barbara Ruth back there put some uh, PowerPoint stuff together. We thank her for that. By the way, this is Barbara Cavanaugh back here, and she's the, she's the one who doesn't get enough credit. She, she makes everything happen for us. Scott's better half, I might add. This, uh, this first one's called A Keys Christmas, and uh, it is just what it says it is. It talks about Christmas in the Keys. Yeah. 
So true it is. Should I tell him? No, I'm telling him. We're right on. Do you know right on? He doesn't want me to tell you that he wrote that song, so I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> Richard wrote that song. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to do another one. This one's a little bit more serious. This is a, it's a song entitled Christmas Lullaby. And it's a song that's written as sung to the, to the baby, sung to baby Jesus. And, and, uh, it's a great song. You know, Rich, I'm, I know you don't like me to do this. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm just, he really doesn't, but I don't know how many of you know this, but we are, we are, I am at least thrilled to be able to sing in a group with a guy that's as talented as Rich and Russell. And I'm serious. This, this is talented. your way of getting back at Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, More gifts. Richie Russell is one of the finest gospel songwriters I know of today. And he wrote the song that we just did. And he's gonna, he wrote the song we're going to do right now. And he just, it's an honor for me to be able to sing the song that you write, Rich. And I just want you to know that. So this was a song entitled, A Christmas Lullaby. Yeah. 
let me introduce the group real quick here. Some of you may not know who we are, so let me just do this very quickly and, and uh, so you, you get a chance to know who they are. Our drums, playing our drums, been playing our drums ever since we started. We've been together now almost, uh, let's see, two weeks now, I guess, right guys? We've been seeing together. Almost five years we've been seeing together. It's been a great time. Bill's been with us and doing, just doing a great job. And uh, Bill uh, is a ma massage therapist, right? That's what he does. He, yeah, that kind of thing. And uh, we're glad to have Bill. He, uh, he's been a great asset to the church. He's done a, a wonderful uh, job helping us out. And so on our drums is Mr. Bill Belly. Give him a hand. And on our bass, playing bass for us, he's one of uh, Monroe County's finest. He is a uh, police officer in, uh, in our, if you need to, you know, he's the one to see. Uh, but uh, we're glad to have him playing the, the bass guitar. And this man right here, uh, has been playing bass guitar almost all his life. He sang in a group. His family was a gospel group that used to go all over the country and sing. And, and he's been playing the bass. And, and we used to, I mean, we used to practice and we used to say, you know, I hope he gets this. I mean, I hope he, you know, and he'd come in and boom, he'd sit down, he'd put the song up and he could play it. And, uh, you know, he's old too, so he knows a lot of these old songs. <laughs> but uh, we're glad to have him playing the bass guitar for us. That's Mr. Roy Bowe. Because she keeps us all straight, she keeps us in line, she keeps us, she, she comes up and says, you know, you need to make the words, you're not singing quiet on key. Of course, she's not talking to me, but you know, the other guys. And uh, she keeps us straight and she does a great job. And we're glad to have her. She's a piano player that's been playing with us before since we began some five years ago. And that's Mrs. Jean Robinson. Give her a hand. Back in the back, back there, and I want to take an opportunity to really introduce her. That's Barb. No, Barb is, uh, Barb has done just wonderful things. She runs our sound. Uh, she could just shut me off at any time she wants to. And, yeah, she's nodding her head back here. Uh, she put together this uh, slide presentation uh, this evening, and she just does a, a lot of wonderful things for us. She's here every time Scott's here, and this is Scott's wife. Give Barbara Kavanaugh my hand back in the back. We began our group as a trio. It was uh, me, Mike, and Richie. We couldn't find a bass. We, we wanted to find a true bass, not one that just said he was a bass. And, and, you know, and we were just very fortunate. The Lord blessed this group at sending us a bass. It was all the way down in Marathon. Um, and uh, he's the little guy on the end. He sings our bass. That's Scott Cavanaugh. <laughs> And singing our baritone is uh, a friend of mine who's also my brother-in-law, so you can probably understand the cruelty that he inflicted on me uh, at the beginning. But he's my brother-in-law. He's been singing since the very beginning. That's Mr. Mike Young. And this is my good friend. Still? Still. Yeah, my good friend. Uh, I've known Richie a long time. I've been playing softball when I moved down the Keys some... 20 some odd years ago, we don't even want to go there, and I uh, found out he could write music and he loved gospel music and I got to know him and he's been writing some great songs and we've been singing together ever since the beginning. This is Richie Russell, give him a hand. I suspect the guy that my right doesn't need an introduction, but I'll do it again. Actually, I'm repeating what I've said before, but I say it in all sincerity. He is, he is the founder, he's the leader, he's the director, he's the inspiration. Uh, he goes out and finds material. I should add too, and, and he never takes credit for this, but he does a lot of the arranging. A lot of times I'll bring stuff and, and I have an idea or whatever, and I say, what do you think about this? He said, it stinks, but if you do this, <laughs> you know, it has a chance. And so, uh, now he is so gifted, uh, and, uh, and I, I'm so pleased and proud to call him a dear friend, uh, Mr. Jim Roper. All right, let's get back to singing. We're going to do one with a soundtrack. We'll see how this works out. It's a backup tape, and uh, we're going to sing, and we're going to feature... Did you notice that this is a pretty big quartet? Have you noticed that? Next time, I'll get some big guys in the quartet. But well, we're going to feature Scott on this one. Uh, this song is entitled Happy Rhythm. Go, Scott. Rock 
Change. We're going to pick up the pace just a little bit here, and, and uh, Rich and I spend some time together out. He's a uh, pulls lobster traps, and, and I go with him sometimes and help him out. Or at least I go on the boat, which I help I am. But, and we go and we talk about things. And, and I know you think we talk about gospel and music all no, not all the time, but occasionally we do. And, and we've always thought that Mike Young, my brother-in-law, sounds a lot like Ricky Nelson. I mean, don't you think he sounds like Ricky? Yeah. Well, yeah. it looks like him too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to prove it to you because uh, Richie said, you know, I want to write a song that will fit Mike. And it's got to sound like a Ricky Nelson song. And he wrote it. And it's a neat song. It's a fun song. Scott, you need to, yeah, come on over here because we're going to spotlight Mike on this one. I this, the no, 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 no. This song is, is a Ricky Nelson stuff. It's a fun song to do. We enjoy it. It's called I Want to Thank You. Go on, Mike.
talks about with religion, it's do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that, whereas with Christianity it's done, that, that Christ has, has paid for our sins, and all you have to do is accept. He says you can't be good enough, you can't be, you can't pray enough, uh, you can't love enough, you can't even work enough. Uh, that's impossible. And so uh, we decided to sort of put those, uh, those words to music, and we did it with a twist, we did it sort of a, with an Elvis style. Yeah, I can't say twist, not with this group, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, maybe, maybe, I'll go get the towel. Um, at any rate, we're going to try something uh, sort of Elvis style, it's, it's, we're not trying to sound like Elvis, it's just the attempt to do it his sort of uh, style, but more important than anything that we might do, it, it, the words uh, certainly uh, carry the message that Pastor Hammond has shared with us so many times, so I would invite you to pay close attention to the song as entitled perfectly enough done. Door and forevermore, 
But Christ was the only way You can't be good enough Good enough And you can't love enough You can't even pray enough for And you can't work enough Oh, well, I tried and tried to earn my heavenly wings But still I found none Took his grace through faith, and it was done. Yeah. Thank you. For God calls on us to keep his commandments, he calls on us to pray. He tells us to feed the least of our brothers and to worship every day. But if you think that works and earn God's favor, that your sins they will hurt a Our holy Bible tells us it's only through Jesus and Jesus Christ alone. You can't be good enough, good enough. and you can't work enough. You can't even cry enough, and you can't work. decided that we like to finish our concerts with this particular song. And it features Mike again on it, and it's a, you know, never more have I seen the signs of the changing times of Christ coming back one of these days, real soon. And you know, it's going to be a wonderful time when we can see him face to face. And I, you know, I can't, I can't wait for that time. I really can't. You know, it's the, Trials and tribulations we go through sometimes, we, we wonder, you know, what's it all about? Well, just keep in mind that one of these days, we are going to see Him. If you've accepted Him as your Savior, you're going to see Him face to face. We want to end the program this evening by singing a song that we really enjoy doing. You all sit back there? Are we ready to go? Okay. This song is entitled, We Shall See Jesus.
as he suffered and died. Once on a hillside, people were gathered for Jesus and Yes, he had, and soon would ascend. And then as he blessed them, he rose to the heavens, and he gave them his promise to come. sing with us. We're going to let Mike start on that first, third verse and do it again. We're going to have you sing that chorus with us twice through. You should have it memorized by now. If not, we're going to put it right up there so you can see the words, okay? Let's stand. Would everybody stand as Mike sings this third verse one more time? Mike, let's it together. We get to the chorus. Join us. Would you go ahead, Mike? Once on a hillside